come on in. Hi, Jen. How are you? I'm good. I am especially good sitting in this wonderful home that you've got here. As you know, I was in a minivan, a Dodge Grand Caravan, for two and a half years. I started with a minivan because I wanted to make sure I liked the life and I loved it. But I was craving this, being able to sit with a friend if it is raining outside or very cold or something. I have a little room to uh, make some tea and have nice conversations. Three months ago, I was so fortunate I found this one. I cannot afford a ProMaster or something like that, uh, so I had to look for a full-size van that would allow me to do that anyway. And I was so lucky because I found this one that belonged to a family that took very good care of it. This is a 1998 Dodge Ram van which is basically a cargo van, like all the, the cargo vans you see out there. It's exactly the same body, but it was outfitted by a company called Regency. That is why Regency. it's an R mm -hmm. in all these cabinets. So would it be called a conversion van then? Is correct, that okay. correct. Uh, Regency would buy the cargo van from Dodge and then they would put all these cabinets and beautiful leather seats and a leather sofa here in back that would go flat and serve as a bed. But of course, I mean, for our lifestyle, I had to remove that sofa and the two seats that were here because they were huge. They were high quality leather seats therefore very comfortable very big and so i removed that to start making my house here uh, the good thing is as i said this family kept these cabinets that are the original thing i loved the craftsmanship uh, of all these wood uh, being here Hi. <laughs> and I was traveling with, in my minivan, I had the bed across from side to side behind the passenger seat and to the back I had two IKEA nightstands that were like my chest of drawers and I was lucky I was able to fit everything I had in the nightstands in here. Oh, those are storage. That's nice. I know. All these cabinets hold a lot of things. So I have, look at these butterflies. These should belong to you. <laughs> uh, this is, I, 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 thought, I think of you every time I, <laughs> I brush my teeth because this is my dental thingy mm -hmm. and my towelettes to clean my, my face, my towel. I use a microfiber towel that dries up in two minutes. Mm -hmm. um, I am a biohacker. So I have lots of supplements and things mm -hmm. here, spirulina, and those kind of things. And these cabinets, this one and the one in front that I use as a pantry, they stay really cool all mm -hmm. the time. So it's perfect for this. Very well insulated. Oh yeah. The ones that are not that well insulated are these side ones. So I only keep clothes here, my pants, my my short sleeve t-shirts there, my long sleeve t-shirts behind you. So I was able to fit my life in these cabinets mm. because everything I own in life is here. A friend of mine, she has a drill and a lot of screws. So we went to the Home Depot, we bought a four, four by fours. Those were the legs two by fours for the sides of the bed and then we fixed some slats on top and I put a mattress there, a twin size mattress. Mm -hmm. I had to cut almost three inches in the length so if a twin size mattress is 75 inches long this one is 72. 
inches long. Mm -hmm. I am 5'7". Okay, so 5'7", that you can still do sideways. That's great. Can you it's, stretch out there? I can stretch. Yeah. I can stretch, and I still have one foot of space in total. Mm. So, as you see, I have several it, pillows. Right, it goes out into the window. It helps me sit up straight there when I'm working my laptop, so I can face whatever landscape I have mm -hmm. on that side. Yeah. And uh, we just missed the sunrise. Yeah. Yes, but it was beautiful. And uh, so I feel very fortunate. I paid $5,000 for this van, put my winter clothes there, and behind that I have uh, scarves and things like that. Mm -hmm. And in the little doors I have, I have my coffee supply here. So in the morning I just take this cube out, and I have everything to make my coffee. I build some uh, window protectors with the same uh, wallpaper I use for the other ones. Nice. They are thick and they have black duct tape holding everything together that provides more insulation yes. and uh, light blocking and it, it, temperature blocking light blocking mm -hmm. and uh, peeping toms blocking <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> this is my toilet uh, it's a Tefford 345 porta potty yep I have it on a tray chest in case mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the bottom part is a tank that holds, I think, four gallons. So this is another stool. I have this cheap cabinet I bought from Amazon. It is on little wheels, and it holds my kitchen stuff. Because this is still new to you. I am working on it. So I have a one burner, butane, propane. I prefer to use it with butane because it's a smaller tank, so yeah, it's easy. easier for me. I see you have a little jackery over here. What size yes. is this? This is a 500. I do have a small fridge there. Correct. What kind of refrigerator is it? This is an Alpicol 15 liter. <laughs> <laughs> she's helping. <laughs> yes. She, she helps clean the, the house. So she's new for you too. I know. In December I was in a funk. Yeah. It's the holidays. My children are all over the, the world and I was really blue. Mm -hmm. And I thought, why don't I get a companion uh, that is not going to make me do things for him? <laughs> <laughs> so, and make someone's life better by providing a home. So I went to the shelter to find out how it worked. And uh, of course she, find me, she found me there. <laughs> So we have been together three weeks. Three weeks, so she seems like she's so at home. Oh. She's so calm. That's the perfect kind of dog for travel, is a calm one like that. What and a sweetheart, and she already loves you. She's uh, so loving and so pleasing. She wants to do everything right. So right. I cannot imagine a better match for me. <laughs>